Hi guys, Crystal here. I've come on today to talk about our shade adjusting drops. Now if you haven't seen these in action yet, you must book in so that you can see firsthand on how they actually work. But essentially we've got thousands and thousands of shades of skin in the world um, and it's near impossible to get a foundation set that makes everybody happy. Um, and so what the Body Shop have done, have bought out some shade adjusting drops that you can add a drop to any foundation, doesn't have to be Body Shop, um, and it will actually lighten that foundation by one shade. So you've got your summer foundation, for example, uh, then you start to naturally lighten in the winter, then you can add a drop or if you need two drops um, for your foundation and then that way you only need to have one foundation over the year and with the use of the shade adjusting drops which is the, the white ones here you can um, alter that the dark ones a book in a party so you can see how the dark ones don't exactly work the same way uh, they make your foundation look a bit muddy unless we, we're using um, our top four foundations that the body shop have got um, then these will make those foundations definitely go darker but if you've got a normal uh, to light pigmentation like myself um, then adding a drop of this will only make your foundation look muddy so it doesn't work the same going backwards but what I'm going to do today is show you um, a little step on contouring. Uh, I am not an expert, so this is just to show you that if I can do it, definitely give it a try because you'll be able to master it as well. And I'm not even saying I can master it, believe me, this is like trial and error. So um, what we're going to do first is use our dark, adjust, dark shade adjusting drops, say that 10 times fast. Um, and we're going to use that to contour our skin uh, to make you look like you've got a, um, a cheekbone essentially and to give your, your face that sort of um, look so that your, your eyes and everything come forward and you look beautiful. That's the, that's the whole aim of it anyway. So I'm just going to get the shade adjusting drops in the dark. This is the colour here. comes out in a plunger. So I'm just going to add some to my skin here, just put my palette and that's them there. And what I'm just going to do is just grab my uh, slanted brush, this is just the Body Shop slanted brush, I'm just going to dip that into the shade adjusting drops, wipe off any excess. I'm just going to start here at the top of my ear, you can see just there, and I'm just going to make my way down towards the my lip. Uh, corner of my lip here okay so I'm using my screen again so I do apologize that I'm not sort of looking at you but I'm just gonna make light feathery motion down towards my skin okay looking pretty glamorous um, again up here now we're just gonna make some little strokes up here like this and on this side not as good as this side as I am on the other side so practice makes perfect though right um, and then just up here now um, I will show you for um, demonstration purposes you can also do here on your nose, down one side, and other, like so. And just to look even more glamorous, you can go up under the chin like this, or jaw is the proper term, I suppose. underneath looking pretty glamorous right so then I'm just going to get our um, nude foundation brush this is fantastic for blending and it's just essentially just blending that down okay now what I'm hoping will happen on this screen is that it will look like I have um, well you can sort of see it there it looks more like I've got a cheekbone rather than just 
a round face. And again, I'm sorry for doing this right on my screen. I probably should have a mirror so that I can check that that's going well right. Going under. Going underneath just makes gives you more definition around your jaw. If you check on YouTube, if you want to give this a try, there's that thousands and thousands of people doing it. You know, they've got lines all over their face. So it depends on, this is just a basic, basic one because I like basic. Uh, too technical, I get lost. And I'm just going along with the, with the um, brush stroke to give that a little bit of definition. So, so can you sort of see, oh it's terrible isn't it, you can sort of see there, there's a little bit more definition and then just coming along here, on this side, on this side and the nose thing is just, it's supposed to give you that thinner nose, okay, and if you have a very wide nose you'd even want to come around right down into this section here, it just gives it that illusion of a thinner nose okay and then you can come along with your light adjusting drops and these are the white ones that we were saying and just I'm just going to put some on my hand and just with my pinky because I didn't bring anything else just put it up here and here, and this is just going to give a little bit of radiance, okay? Oh, you can see there I haven't blended that properly, so sorry about that. And there you go. So you can see that there's definitely more of a definition there. And oh look, you can even to tell you the truth, you're supposed to go down the centre of your nose as well. And you can go up here. Like so. So you can see when the light catches it, you can just definitely see a brighter area. I mean, you can go all in here as well. So, another thing, you can go across the top here, across your lip, blend out. It gives that a little bit more of a puffy look, look at that. Mm -hmm. I've got face, <laughs> lips. All right, guys. So have a look at those. Have a play with those. Book in a party, and we can play um, real, real time on your face. Um, but that's just an example, a demonstration on the darkening and lightening drops from the Body Shop at Home. Thanks, guys. Bye.